guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I have my June fairy loot box to unbox, but before this video starts, I have a couple of things to say. First of all, I think I look really cute today because I'm wearing this like sort of dress thingy and I think it looks adorable. Second of all, I am obsessed with the Pray for the Weekend album that Panic at the Disco just released. It's Oh my god, I'm gonna play it on repeat for the next couple of weeks. I know that for sure. Go check it out. It's it's incredible. It's mind-blowing. It's amazing. And the third thing I wanted to say is that today's video is gonna be a very chill video. I have a lot of deadlines this week. This is my last week at university, but I really want to get up this video, so I'm just gonna try to edit it like not too much, so it's gonna be a very chill video. And um, I'd say let's just get started with unboxing the box. I already um, broke the seal so I can open it very quickly. I am so excited. I received this box yesterday and I still haven't opened it, so I am controlling myself Myself really well I think. So the spoiler card as usual is really pretty. The theme is rebels in ball gowns which I think sounds very unique. I will just start grabbing items at random and okay let's grab the first thing. Oh it's a quite a big candle. So this one is called I don't know what it says. It at least says little crow but I don't know what the word says here on the front. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. It looks like there's like blood or something at the bottom. So let's smell this. It's very sweet, but it's not like overly sweet. Um, it kind of smells like bubblegum and citrus fruit at the same time. I really like it. <laughs> the first item we have included this month is an exclusive Corver candle by Geeky Clean. It's inspired by Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. We decided to include this candle because of the great Tithe Gala. The cute little jar candle is perfect for you to burn whilst you read this month's book. So it didn't say what kind of smell, but it's inspired by Nevernight and I think it smells great. So that's a nice candle. Um, next up, I think this is um, a pillowcase thing, so I'm gonna grab it because it's the biggest thing that I see in here. Ooh, it looks very pretty already. This is what it looks like. I think it looks super cool. Um, your future can be whatever you wish. We all have the power to choose our own destiny. That's a gorgeous quote. I don't know what it's by. Oh, yeah. I think it's um, Caraval by Stephanie Garber because I see her name right there. And I don't know. I really like this pillowcase. Next up. Oh, okay. What is this? This box looks really pretty. It has the Fairy Loot logo on it. I think... It's like a necklace. It sounds like sprinkles or something. Ooh, okay. Um, I don't think I would wear this normally, but look at this necklace. It has like a, um, a masquerade thing on it. I don't know how you say this in English, but it is very pretty. I'm not a big fan of wearing necklaces, and especially when this thing is quite big. It's not that big, but it's a little bit there, you know? I'm, I don't think I will wear it that often, but it is very pretty. Ooh, okay, next up I see the selection. Iron on patch designed by Ink and Wonder Designs. I really like patches. I've never uh, like actually put them on my clothing, but this one says, it's always the fear of looking stupid that stops you from being awesome. Okay, this is like a perfect quote. This is completely true. Um, I'm gonna take it out of the packaging because right now you guys cannot really see it. So this is what it looks like. I think this quote is absolutely perfect and true and it makes me want to stop caring about what people think about me. So that is a very inspirational quote and I love that. Next up, I saw something very interesting. <gasps> Magnetic bookmarks. Oh, oh my god. Oh, um, this is such a shame because it's inspired by Shatter Me and what do I not like? Shatter Me. I don't know who is who anymore. So this is Juliet. I think this is Warner and this is Adam. I am... Not too sure. I might give this to one of my friends because she loves Shatter Me. I think it's such a shame though because I love the art style of these bookmarks and they're three so that's a lot. I just really didn't like Shatter Me and I uh, am even putting it in a book on haul. What I see here, what is this? Reading journal? Oh my god, July until December 2018. That is so cool! Okay, I think this is the item that they were talking about which they have never included before. This is amazing! Um, I've never kept a reading journal really so it looks really really pretty and it is like filled with quotes and month at a glance so this is also like a bullet journal kind of thing it's like a little agenda wow this is awesome and i will definitely be using this um from july on so 
I'm really happy with this item. I think that those were all of the items. Yes, they were. And right now, we are getting the book. It feels like a very thin book. There's gonna be something special about this hardcover. I don't know if it's a different cover, if the pages are sprayed, or if it's signed by the author. Um, I don't know what book it's gonna be, so I'm just gonna grab it out of the bag. Ooh, okay, I've never heard of this. It's called Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart. Not all prisons have bars. I think the exclusive thing about this book was that it's a hardcover and the usual format that it was going to be published in is paperback, but I'm not too sure, but it's a really pretty cover. Usually, I really don't like it when people are on the front of the cover. But this time, I really quite like it. It's like just over 300 pages. I'm gonna read the synopsis for you guys. It's very short. In a world where women have no rights, Sister Serena and Nomi face very different fates. One in the palace, the other on an island prison where women must fight to survive. Serena has spent her whole life preparing to become a grace, selected to stand by the heir to the throne as a sh shining example of the perfect woman. But her headstrong and rebellious young sister has a dangerous secret, and one wrong move could cost both sisters everything. Can Serena fight, and will Nomi win? Oh my god, that sounds really cool. Ooh, okay, not all prisons have bars. Our book of the month is a fantastic feminist fantasy that has fierce sister, rebellion, and yes, you guessed it, a ball. This edition is a fairly exclusive because the standard UK edition is only printed in paperback, which means this hardback was printed just for you. Another very exciting thing about the book is that it is actually isn't out until the end of July, which means you are getting it way before the official publication date. I'm getting like a good five from this book. So that was my June A Fairy Loot Box unboxing. I really like this box. It's just a shame that I don't wear necklaces. Plus this I think is my biggest disappointment. The Shatter Me bookmarks. I just wish it was from another fandom because I love the art style. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this month's box. I also cannot wait to receive next month. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Of course, I have Goodreads, Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address. And links to that will be in the description bar down below as well. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!